Hello, guys, and welcome to an impromptu Vindaloo, England special. We are joined today by the wonderful Bing and the wonderful Tedard. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, to celebrate an impressive victory over the Dutch and a passage into the final against a very scarily good looking Spanish side. But we will not worry too much about that and we will just bask in the glory for the time being. What a game. I mean, what a first half and then what an end to the second. <laughs> yeah, no, no. There's there's a good there's there's okay, so what I will say about England, you're getting better in a sense that you're you're playing better football for like longer periods of time. I think this game you played I mean, 40 minutes of good football. So that's positive. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's nice to actually win it in regular time. It's a bloody penalties as usual. <laughs> uh, it was the first final on foreign soil. And to win it in Germany would be, I mean, certain areas of the public would like that. <laughs> I mean, they've done us dirty on penalties, and you know, um, we've we we beat them in the on the way to our last final, three and a half years ago or so. Yeah. But let's get let's get into the game. All right, we we haven't got too long. We're going to do a quick hot in and out. Let's get into the game. I mean, the lineup was still the same from uh, the Switzerland game. Yep. Which, how did you feel about that? Nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> Were you confident yeah. in the man that is the the genius that is Southgate, who should get another 12 years? <laughs> um, yeah, well, that's obviously his best, uh, he thinks his best 11. I still don't like the trip here on the left thing. Because we had no progress down there. But we, uh, the Dutch just went off us and then we had loads of space for Phone and Bellingham. So um, they could work their magic, at least in the first half. Bit of shame they couldn't actually put a 3 0 up so we wouldn't have to be, have high heart rates all the time. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, the left is still looking weak, but. Um... I mean, who knew Bukayo Saka was the right back that we needed? Well, he's more of a wing back, right? At this, with the way he plays, which is fine. That's not that. That's that should that was never the problem. It's just, I mean, to give this team credit, right? The they were playing much more. They 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 were making actual important decisions offensively rather than just completely shirking all of them in the first half <laughs> which is what I've, they've, they've been doing this into the tournament and they look good for again the the first half other than the first 10 minutes the first five minutes in which they was five ten minutes in which they gave up a go to xavi simmons yeah, i mean that was um, a screamer yeah that was also who, 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 which who, who, never does yeah he, he took the ball. He just took the ball of what was it, rice or stones? I forgot. It was rice. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then oh. Walker would just keep backing up, backing up, backing up. Just go ahead, have a shot. And then, yeah, he, he, he shot and scored. Well, it was tucked away. It was a hard one for Pickford. It looks bad on a replay, but I'll, I, it, I, mean, it, I don't blame, he, I don't blame Pickford for that. No, he, t- he, yeah, some of the commentators were having a go at him, but, oh, no, you know. No. He was he he took a pop and it was kind of disguised behind the defenders. What it's also out of his reach. Um, yeah, it's out of his reach. It's so it blasted off, so it was too fast. So I I, I pick first the last person you should be blaming for that one. There's four other defenders and and especially Declan Rice. <laughs> I mean, we'll never blame Declan for anything. Um oh, sure. he, you know. He was, I mean, you know, technically he was fouled there. So, you know, they got away with one for that one. And then uh, we got away with one for our almost nailed on penalty. Yeah. 
I mean, it was, you know, as I, I, the best part about that penalty, obviously, aside from the goal, was Ian Wright putting Gary Neville in his place at half time. That just was so was heartwarming. Okay. I'm sorry if you guys didn't get that internationally. No. That no. needs to be clipped up and shared globally. <laughs> I guess it's a penalty. It's a, it, it is a penalty. Uh, it's a penalty that that would never be called with all far. So it's uh, a product of modern time of, of modern football. Yeah, it was a preposterous call. I must say, Dumfries <laughs> is just trying to block the shot. Yeah, and I do I do agree with you know the uproar and and everything. I I. But then again, Ian Wright makes a really compelling case that that is what they're given for. He goes in, studs up, uh, it's, and it it's probably a is a foul anywhere on the pitch. Yeah, no, it's a penalty. It's just no no ref sees that penalty, right? <laughs> it looks like a block anywhere. But if you slowly rewind the camera and then see the the, the, the intention where the foot goes, then yes, that, that, that's a foul. It's a penalty. But yeah, it shouldn't. It should never have been called back. I mean, just, it, it, there's it, no need it. to intervene there. Yeah, it's a it's bar it's a it's a bar penalty. It is the correct call, <laughs> but it just it, it without yeah. bar you you just don't call them, and there will be there will, wouldn't be in much uproar. I don't think the English player even really cared that much until they the decision to go back, right? Yeah, no one no one uh, uh, appealed for it. It yeah. was just purely a. Uh, I think even the even the in-house VAR person on the TV. Oh really? Said, uh, "Oh no, this is never going to be called back." Da, 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 and they just waved uh, it on. Same as us. I mean, we had Mark Clattenburg, that that great genius of refereeing, uh, <laughs> talking about <laughs> these decisions. <laughs> uh, he uh, he also didn't think it was a bad idea at first, but yeah. Well, it, uh, I mean, he's he uh, doesn't he do the UK Gladiators reboot now? I'm <laughs> thinking of another shitty. He is he is making money all sorts of places. He was in Saudi Arabia for a while, and then he worked for Nottingham Forest. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, I don't care. Anyways, well, but I mean, uh, Kane's gonna do. I think I think Kane did a hell of a lot to buy it. He. Wriggled yeah, and rolled along on the floor. No. Yeah. <laughs> did uh, did Harry, uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Harry Kane no, was he's, lousy he's, this was lousy this game, other than the penalty. I I think you mean this tournament. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean there was some um, opportunities where they could have rested him, but we were so shit in the first two games that um, we had to play him. Yeah, it's funny though because he, he not once has he ever looked like a man who you know he's been holding it in. He's like purposely not been going to fourth or fifth gear. He's just been lumbering along in first just this whole tournament. He, he, he got up to maybe third gear today, and he mm. you know <laughs> ran maybe. about a bit. There's a, a few moments in the first half when she looked like somewhat of a confident striker. And then the second half came and he was nothing there. There was nothing there. No, he was he was spent. I mean, I I have to admit, my eyes glazed over for much of that second half. There were a few little chances, obviously, the Wait, was the the Foden off the line was the first half? Those are all first half. Foden, everything was the first half. <laughs> Yeah, Foden. Yeah, he put it off the line. Foden hit the crossbar, right? But then there was that Saka disallowed goal second half. I think that, that was the only thing. Yeah, that was the only just thing. Before the, just before the subs came on as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Southgate alarmingly early in the 80th minute or 81st minute. Yeah, yeah substitutions. <laughs> and yeah. it's That's you know crazy. if you. Yeah, if you if you give you know twenty Premier League goal a season strikers more than two and a half minutes, they might uh, might produce something. 
he's got he's getting all the people on the on the on the US broadcast are all praising Southgate. Ian Dark and Donovan, they're all praising well, he, Southgate. He did bring brave, on the right people. Sure. Brave substitution. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Um, it, no, the the commentary were doing exactly the same over yeah. here. You know, inspired substitutions, sure. genius from Southgate. Da, 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 da. It's like, dude, you've you've had this the whole time. <laughs> I mean, Watkins, great finish. Um, Palmer, great setup. Yeah, that's. I mean, but uh, yeah, those two are good players. <laughs> Maybe give them a few more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, cer- certainly Watkins. I think we have we've seen a bit of Palmer. Um, we've seen a bit of Palmer. yes. We've seen a, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, no, Watkins played what five minutes up until this point in the tournament. Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, but I mean, what what a they you're so totally right. What what a touch and turn. Yeah, you got it. Absolutely incredible. And um, I mean, there we are. Incredible scenes at the end, obviously. Mm-hmm. Guts out, beers spilling everywhere. Sure. So, I mean, we, we'd be remiss to not mention our opponents and also their, you know, progress. It was kind of a similar game yesterday, I thought, like an explosive first half no, no, followed by... Else. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, a lot of nothing. <laughs> Except, you know, that's that suited Spain perfectly because they obviously they held the lead. Yeah. Whereas, so yeah, what did you think? What do you think of France? What do you think of Spain? France, France? Uh, their their defense has been great all tournament. That that game, you just you can't defend those two goals. Uh, the goalkeeper having magnificent, you can't you can't save those two goals. Uh, they're their attack gets fail gets failing great all across the board. Mm. They have half of a team playing like A plus plus and half of a team team playing F. So, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, and, but again, which sometimes can work, but Spain just managed to just pull off two moments of genius, which are undef- and you can't it's basically can't defend those two goals and you're out because you, you offensively you even produce more than what you have up to this point and but that was still not enough france in that game was their first goal scored on in open play this entire tournament and the first two goals conceded in open play this entire tournament <laughs> so that's how they've been uh and as for spain um watch out I mean, they look they look really impressive. Every time they went forward against the French yesterday, it was so, squeaky bum time. There's the two way to look at this upcoming game. There's the for you guys, the English fans. There's the glass half full perspective, which is England has been <laughs> progressively playing better every single game. As in, they have been playing good football for longer periods of time, rather than just sheer nothingness. <laughs> Uh, uh, since the group stages. So that's the positive. There's some tactical changes. It's just shuffling the decks into putting people into different positions. That's, I don't know. I don't know what that, what do you call that? Uh, Luke Shaw is playing longer periods of time. So maybe you can completely drop Trippier the you know, last game. Maybe that's, that, that, that would probably be a bonus. Although Luke Shaw didn't really do anything in the second half. Um, no, he didn't really have anyone with him. No. Well, the guy hasn't been playing any football since February. <laughs> um, they, uh, Foden looks like looks getting get better, like getting better. There's the subs. The, the, I mean, they're doing things. So that's the glass half full approach. Uh, the glass half empty is that you guys haven't played any, anybody good this entire tournament. Hey, we played the Serbians. They were half all right. Yeah, they they were very they they were uh, they they have made a very staunch decision to not score any goals this entire tournament in the in in the group stages and they're out in the, in, in, in the three games. Um, you played Slovenia, you guys didn't score. They didn't score. Love Slovenia, great. Um, you played um, 
put us you, you played Denmark. You didn't Slovakia. Play Denmark, right? You almost lost to Slovakia, a team which <laughs> it was even worse than the teams that you played in the group stages. Okay, great. And then you played. Uh, you again, you won. You won on penalties against Switzerland. Switzerland were better than you it's for most of the game. Um, and now you've been Netherlands. Great, good. No, Netherlands. They have a donut in the midfield. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Spain's midfielders have been playing magnificent throughout this entire consistently every single game. Fabian Ruiz, terrific tournament. Danny Omo is now right now. I think he's still technically the, the Golden Boot uh, leader. Um, and of course, Rodri, the world's best midfielder in the world. Uh, and yeah, he wouldn't be getting uh, that ball pinched off him like Rice did. I mean, I love Declan Rice, but <laughs> I don't think that's happening if that's Rodri. Um, you're okay. So your fullbacks, which if it's Trippier, well, good luck. He, he needs to play. Mag- I don't know. I don't know what he needs to pull out of his pocket to beat Nico Williams. <laughs> uh, and Saka. And Saka. The fear is Saka has to be now pinned really, really far back to defend against the Minyamal. Like Saka is faster than most people. I mean, your ball is faster than him. Right? Any? Yeah. yeah. Well, we, I don't know. Go back to a 4 4 2, and then you can double up on them when you need to. Okay, then we're back to playing. You're, you're playing for 0 0 going to penalties. I mean, yeah. that's. that's uh... That's a banker. <laughs> I mean, that's going to so be what Gareth is talking about. It's not but impossible. Let me, let, me, let me put this to you, my good friend. What about how Italy win their tournaments? That the, is what we are going to do. We are going to stink this tournament out well, all the, thing the is, way to the final. I mean, yeah, you're, you're, on, you're on track to doing that. Um, the problem with the team that has been playing exactly like Catanaccio era Italy just got knocked out by Spain. So. <laughs> Can they do it twice? We'll see. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe, you're, maybe, maybe, maybe this is your chance. Maybe, maybe you get the... Look, you're, you're not the underdog in this game. You clearly have the talent to match them. And you're, in fact, I think you have more, much more depth than Spain. After Nico Williams and uh, the Mina Ball, the drop off is huge. Right, Ferran Torres is terrible. Their defense is not. It's, your defense is not very good. Their defense also is questionable. Unai Simons, Unai Simons always makes a blunder every single game. He has done that, in fact, every single game in this tournament. Mm. Again, I'm not saying you guys don't have the shot or anything like that. It's just they played much better. Beating much more impressive teams to get here. No, absolutely, but I, uh, definitely, I, I'd always rather be the underdog. And you're not I the think underdog. That no. would work in this team's favor. You're not the underdog. Well, <laughs> in terms of you're form, I think we definitely are. Uh, yeah, well, 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 yeah. since the Switzerland game, I've been of, I've been of being, right. I'll tune in and we'll just get hammered, and then and then it'll be over. But it keeps carrying on. <laughs> you guys are like a zombie. Just <laughs> well, Kane moved to Germany to win a trophy, but probably not this way. You know, again, it's not like you're. In, it's it's impossible. In fact, the odds, are maybe I don't know. The odd makers probably even put you guys as this <laughs> Um It's just again the. With the last tournament, right? The you got to the finals as well with much easier ties it, versus Italy. Italy again, a team that's not that that's in, un, sheer un, talent. You're probably better than them, but they played much better football getting there, and eventually in the final, they played better over the whole course of the entire game, and they won on penalties. And Chiellini close line Saka. Sure, that's part of winning the game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you tell Trippier to, 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 to do that to, to, to the Minya Mall. <laughs> you have a shot, obviously. You do final. have a shot. I mean, be- before you go, one last yeah. final thought. Isn't sure. it absolutely hilarious 
that for all of the talent and everything that you're describing about England, no one's disputing that. But it almost feels like Gareth Southgate has hamstrung the team purposefully to release little bits of talent along the way. Is it an absolute genius bit of masterclass or is he just a moron who now is stumbling on a uh, some sort of formula for success? Uh, do you guys, I don't know, did you guys uh, go back to the 2006 World Cup? Do you guys remember that World Cup? <laughs> uh, the Not French? Fondly, no. No? Well, okay, England was pretty tre- dreadful in that tournament, as usual. Uh, but the French got to the final. Their coach was a guy named Raymond Dominic, who uh, picked, infamously picked his team using horoscopes. Was he a genius for getting that team to the final? Maybe he is. <laughs> was that the one where Zidane headbutted someone? Or was that the one yes, before? Yes, that's the Zidane headbutt. I, final, that was, in which, oh, okay. Yeah, in which Zidane carried that team to the final and then last minute started to headbutt uh, Matarazzi. Yeah. So I guess my prediction is that Jude Bill and Hammond is going to, uh, I don't know, cut somebody, behead somebody <laughs> in the final. <laughs> Fun. I mean that would be that would be that would be fun just on its own. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe he'll he- headbutt Rodri in his Achilles and it will yeah. watch her for the next season. Oh yeah. That's what you're watching for. And then Arsenal Arsenal can finally win. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. it's on. Anyways. All right. Well, thank well, you for the congratulations. Uh, for the impromptu indulgence in our momentary glory (laughs) i don't know you could you definitely you you can win it congratulations i mean we we absolutely did not see this coming when we did the first podcast so uh to be here is fun it's very fun yeah yeah up the Uh, end vindaloo my friends vinda for vinda effing loo (laughs) <laughs> then Dalu it goes right through you. Alright, see you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, see you later guys. Oh, it's Ted Odd, hey mate. Hello. You hear me? We yeah. can't hear you. You can't. We can, loud and clear, beautifully. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, we'd, we'd hear you a bit better if you said a certain few words that we can only say now in confidence. I'm trying to think of them. <laughs> I think they there's also a song about ar- it. Arriving at a certain place that you're very familiar with. Oh, um, yeah, we're going home at the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, exactly. Yes, exactly.